Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with another budgeting video. For today's video I'm going to be setting up my sinking funds spread in my budget planner. I have here my stickers ready to go as well as I will be stuffing my sinking funds cash envelopes with which I have all of them in here in this plastic little binder. I have I believe how many sinking funds? Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and thirteen sinking fund cash envelopes that I will be stuffing for today. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with setting up the sinking fund spread, which I like to do that. Let's see, this is March. Let's go to April. Not right after the April budget spread because I will be doing my weekly check-in pages here, but on the pages after that. So let me go ahead and start by laying down my washi. Honestly, guys, I have not added any new sinking funds this month, but I will be stuffing two of them with a little bit more money because I do have things like upcoming trips as well as birthdays. I feel like I have so many birthdays the next couple of months that I want to make sure that I am stuffing a good amount in there so then that way I have enough to go around. So this is the washi. I'm going to go in with my sinking fund script. And of course for this month we have the really pretty monochromatic look with the polka dot washi and the dark purple script. This looks so cute together. I also went ahead and used the floral for my budget spread, but I thought I would switch things up by doing this for the sinking funds, which I really like. So let's go ahead and start with writing down my funds. I have them all in alphabetical order. So the first one is adventures. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different by writing down my funds and then I'll go ahead and add their beginning and what I'll be adding for them. Just to do things a little bit different and so that I don't bore you with the same thing over and over again. I also have my allowance sinking fund, which is essentially where any extra allowance cash envelope money for the month goes towards at the end of that one month. So this uh, this doesn't get stuffed today, but it will be getting stuffed once I roll over the money from whatever was left in the month of March. Then I have my Amazon Prime, which I've actually decided that after I'm done paying for that for this year, I pay this annually, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of my personal budget planner and just include it as a business expense for my shop. Next is car maintenance. And car payment, which car payment is in an online banking account, so I'm not going to be stuffing that today. I will be stuffing car tags though. I won't be stuffing Christmas, that's also in the online banking account, which is why I'm putting a little A here. Clothing. I know Claudian does not have anything at the time that I'm filming this, but we have Costco for my Costco membership at the end of this year or like the beginning of next year. Then I also have a date night sinking fund, which has definitely came in handy the past month. I have a fund for electricity because we pay for this or I pay for this every other month. And then another one that actually got used last month was my entertainment fund. I have one for gifts, which like I mentioned, I have quite a few birthdays coming up. And then one for medical. After medical, I have my miscellaneous fund. And last but not least, I have my Peru trip fund, which has been in my online banking account for I want to say about a year now which is crazy but I have not of course been able to go to Peru so that's still going to stay there up until I go to Peru so those are all of my sinking funds 
Of course, if you guys are new or haven't started sinking funds, don't think that I started with this amount of sinking funds. I feel like in the beginning I only had, I had a car fund, maybe a gifts. I know I had like three sinking funds when I barely started. So don't feel like you need to have all of these sinking funds and stuff the amount of money that I stuff on a monthly basis. It's just kind of what I've prioritized. So things like going on adventures, these upcoming weeks as well as you know making sure that i have money to give presents has something that has came with time i don't think i i used to do that in the past because to be honest and quite frankly i didn't have enough money to cover all of my expenses and on top of that sinking fund so don't feel you know discouraged if you can't start sinking funds yet but if you can i definitely suggest that you start with ones like christmas maybe one for like a car maintenance and maybe one for things like clothing because i know with things like clothing i would try to use my allowance for that but then i quickly realized that clothing is very expensive and that it definitely adds up and that I should just probably have a sinking fund for that instead of using my allowance money. Now that I have all of those funds listed out, I'm going to go ahead and start with the beginning and what I'll be stuffing them with this month. The beginning for adventures is $32. And I'm going to be stuffing $300. I plan on booking our stay at Las Vegas with this money as well as i'm hoping i don't know if i'll have some extra but if i do on top of the 32 dollars, i'm hoping to use that for maybe eating out on our trip to catalina island or to palm springs at the end of the month so i'm hoping that's enough if not i'll go ahead and definitely have to dip into my entertainment and even my miscellaneous we will just have to see but i did want to make sure to have at least for our Las Vegas stay, which is going to be for Paul's birthday, which is in the beginning of June. So it's still a long ways until then, but I want to make sure to book something this month because I have some sort of like discount that I want to take advantage of. So that's what I'll be stuffing adventures with. Then allowance will stay blank until I roll that money over. For Amazon Prime, I am starting with 60 and I will be adding 20 as always. For cart maintenance, this has 145 so far, and I will also be adding $20 to this fund. Car payment has the 373, and this is just for any emergency car payments, so I don't typically stuff this. Car tags have $74 so far and I will be adding 24, which I did the math in the beginning of the year as to how much I would have to stuff this sinking fund with so that I have the amount by the end of the year during December, which is when it's due, and that was $24. So I'm going to keep it at 24, I'm thinking, until it is due. Now for Christmas so far, I have $391 with 50 cents saved and I do $125 a month. Clothing, like I mentioned, has zero as of now, but I will be adding $75, which is what I typically do for this fund every month. Costco has $15 so far and I do $5 in here. Date night has $20 as of now and I will be stuffing it with $40 this month. Then for electricity, I have $286 in here, which in the past two times that I've had to pay for it, it's been the same exact number. So I'm going based off of that number and I want to make sure that I have twice that amount because I just paid for it last month. So in order to get to that amount, I would have to add only $28 this month, which is really good. I've added in here like 125 per month in the past. So I was really happy to be able to just have enough for the next two payments and that it's only $28. So then that way I can focus on my other sinking fund. So that's what I'll be adding for electricity. Then for entertainment, I have $47 in here and I'm going to be adding 25. 
Gifts has $51 as of now, and this will be getting $125. I have my mom's birthday this month, as well as my friend Claudia's. Medical is beginning with $237, and I'm going to be adding $23 this month. I, I've mentioned this before, but I really want to either get braces sometime soon or maybe even some aligners. I've been seeing a bunch of just people I follow online talking about this one specific company called Bite. And so I think I have a pretty good amount in my medical fund to start that up. So I'm going to go ahead and see. I might start it this month. I might wait until I have a little bit more in here. But that's definitely something that I want to get done because, I mean, I've had braces in the past and it's been a long time since then. And my bottom teeth have definitely shifted. And I just really don't love how it looks. So I'm going to use some of my medical fund for that in the future. Just wanted to let you guys know if you guys were interested in kind of knowing what I plan on doing with that money. For miscellaneous, I have $16 here and I'm going to be adding $40 for the month. And then last but not least, we have my per trip, which has $1,200. And I don't add anything for this because this has been fully funded for a while now. And... I am not going to total any of these columns up just because I am missing my allowance numbers, but in total today, I'm going to be physically stuffing $725. That is, of course, $850, which is what I budgeted for in my monthly budget, minus the $125 for Christmas, which I stuff electronically. So right here, $850 minus $125 equals 725 so now let me go ahead and bring my cash envelopes and my cash so that i can get to stuffing okay so i have all of my cash up here a little bit different once again and i'm going to take out each cash envelope or maybe actually i'll just leave it in here so let's go ahead and start stuffing first i have adventures which like i mentioned it's going to get 300 so I think, should I off the bat do? No, I'm gonna do 250, there you go. So I have 100, 250, 300 for adventures. And I did already have 32 in here. So now we have $332 for adventures which if you guys are interested in these cash envelopes, I don't necessarily have this vinyl available, but these are all from my shop. I do have other vinyls that you can choose from. And if you guys are interested in this specific design, this is a negative space um, cash envelope design. I went ahead and skipped allowance because I'm not going to be stuffing this one right now, but Amazon Prime will be getting $20 in here. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80 in here so far for Amazon Prime. I'm sorry about the angle of these cash envelopes, by the way, but I thought I would just make some room so you could see the cash up here. Maybe I'll put it a little bit higher. I think that works a little better. Okay. Next, I have a car maintenance which will be getting $20 as well. So let's take a 20. And I might have to change some of these bills for bigger ones sometime soon. So now with that added 20, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 165 saved for card maintenance right here. Card tags is going to be getting 24. That's 22, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 24. Let's go ahead and start. So let's go ahead and add this right here. So for card tags, I now have 20, 40, 60, 
80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $98 saved for car tags so far. That's pretty good. I feel like this is the first year I think so. I think I've mentioned it before that I actually stuff this ahead of time. Um, I think before I would do it like three months before it was actually due. Clothing will be getting $75. So let's take a 50, a 20, and a five. So 50, 70, and 75 for clothing. Costco will be getting two, five. So let's just move all the bills here. Five dollars for Costco and I think I have like 15 in here, yeah. So now we have 20 for Costco. Date night is going to be getting $40. So let's do two 20s. And now I have 20, 40, 55, and $60 for date night. Electricity will be getting 28. We'll be getting 25. I'm not sure if I should do two tents for this. Actually, I think it should be fine. So, $25 for entertainment. Gifts will be getting 125. So let's take 125. And so far I have 31. I have 51. So now I have 120, 40, 60, 75, 76. Medical will be getting $23. So let's do 23 right here. 20, 1, 2, 3. And in here I already had, like I mentioned, 237. So let's add this and count it up. We have 50, 100, 150, 200, 20, 45. 50, 5, 50, 60, 70, 59, and 60. So 260. So, and then last but not least, we have miscellaneous, which is going to be getting the last 20, 30, and 40 dollars here. And in here I have, I have a couple bucks. Yeah, I have sixteen dollars. So now I have a total of twenty, thirty, forty, fifty-five, and fifty-six. So those are all of my sinking funds and the cash envelope 
part of this video. As you guys can see, these are all now very, very chubby and stuffed, which is kind of the main reason why I'm thinking of getting another, either one of these or maybe a colorful one. I really like these binders, the clear ones, but I've seen a lot of people using the colorful ones. So I might end up getting maybe one or two of those just because I feel like I have so many in this one that I should probably split them already. With that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for coming along and watching this video. I did just realize that I forgot to lay down my transaction log on the other side of this page, which is typically where I track all the transactions made for my sinking funds, which like I mentioned, sinking funds for me are small savings. So like my regular savings, I don't think of all of my sinking funds as things that I should account for in my monthly view. I like to have a transaction log separate from anything else in my planner because this is specifically for my sinking funds. Since these don't really have anything to do with my monthly budget, with the exception of just writing down the number that I'm going to be stuffing for these months, since I have been saving money for some of these sinking funds for a long time and I'm treating them just as I would with my regular savings. So I have my transaction log here. I am just going to go ahead and just lay down some of this washi to kind of close out the spread. I'll use a glitter washi here and one right here, but that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate everyone who enjoys these videos and is subscribed. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel already, don't forget to do so, as well as like this video if you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on tomorrow's video, which will be stuffing my monthly cash envelopes. Bye guys.